Meow. Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden, crazy cat artist. We'll get this little bundle of cute little footsies paws. Allow them to overlap a bit. We'll just get the lines in, the shapes. Just wanted to line those paws up in a manner that's interesting because they're not just totally in a straight line. And we want to keep the interest in our art too. Take your time to muck around and make sure you like your lines. Make sure you like your design. Sometimes if I get in a rush, I notice that I'm just not putting the heart into it like I normally do. I have to remember to slow down. It's a relaxing process. And I love to hear from you, especially love to hear what you want to learn about cat drawing. So please do drop me a comment. And if you got an idea for a video, put video idea in capitals right at the beginning. That way I can find it quickly. Or just tell me about yourself or your cat. Help us build this amazing community of crazy cat artists. So when I get the toe lines in, I don't worry about getting them exactly as where I see them in the photo. I just get them in, you know, kind of quick and flicky just to keep the life in it. There are times when I do tighten up a little bit more to make sure things are in the right place. But there's also times where I just want the expression. You know, it's a matter of balance and finding your own style and what works for you. And the paw that is the second one from our right kind of looks like it's not really planted that well to me, but I didn't go and fix it a whole lot because, you know, the cat could be lifting its paw up a little too. So that's one reason why you don't have to worry about it being exactly correct all the time because, you know, cat's position moves. And as long as it looks convincingly like a cat and comfortable, that's what matters. Get some lines in there for that stump the kitty's sitting on. It gives it a bit of interest. And that was my end result. Thanks for watching.